he's uh, I got to go find him somewhere. He stuck himself somewhere in the universe. <laughs> I mean, you got to be real careful. Yeah, did he? Yeah, yeah you got to be real careful with going way out there, particularly in cases of malabsorption and things. You have to be real careful about getting too strict and going too long without food and too far down the road. Someone was talking about dry fasting the other day here. And uh, you can really end up uh, in the emergency room uh, if, you're, if you're not careful here with some serious issues. So uh, that's why you'll come, a lot of you will come to understand the word balance. Right now, go gun ho, but then you'll see what I mean about balance once in a while in your diet. It just grounds you and keeps you sane because most of these people are very spiritual people. Mm -hmm. So they're they're expanding their awareness, their their bodies are getting healthy and they're becoming one big light bulb. Mm -hmm. You know, all these beautiful souls on YouTube are like all these giant uh, and I did get the lighthouse, but the lighthouse, the, the the beams of the lighthouse, you know. And so but you have to stay balanced a little bit. Uh, Life Rejuvenator, uh, you must know beside the wonderful, oh, sharing with us almost on a daily basis with such high intent. Thank you. Appreciate the Life Rejuvenator. We try to speak from the heart here, don't we? I mean, we, we just try to be good good folk and, and help people out because there's way too much stuff out there that if you don't uh, halfway laugh, you're going to break down and cry and, and get mad and angry. Somebody asked me about anger and stuff, and we'll talk about this. Let's see. There's one thing which is bigger than you will ever imagine. Nope, it is not moving your limbs. Talking about God it is bigger than that. Nope, it is not limbs, stomach, bow. I'm just kidding. It, it is hope. Yes, hope and cure. I am 44 years old. Oh, man, you look good for that. And except, is that balding? Do you think that looks like he's balding? I don't know. It's black. I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah. Uh, and I have never felt that good in my entire life. Whoa, Rejuvenator! This guy's kicking butt. He's a great dude. He's really doing the do. And look at there. Hope. Thank you. You know what? That's what we're all doing. We're giving the world hope. We're giving moms yeah. hope. What moms are going through? My God! It's unbelievable. I, I attempted to show him, and I don't know if I did, the little 10 year old that had leukemia and oh, stuff. I don't yes. know what I'm allowed to show and not show, but I tell you what, they just. You have to go into this open-minded and with the right heart, because if you're not fully committed to it, it's too yeah. easy to steer Touch off. Yep, and yeah. that's why you get a lot of people that you are their last, their last straw. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, we so we much. because we're going to work as a team. Yes. And and get this world <laughs> turned around here because the suffering is immense. Yes. And some of these people have suffered. Uh, there was a, a lady named Lemonade, and she has had pain all her life, and now she's out of pain. And, and But she started seeing sediment coming and coming and coming in her urine, and now she's a lot of sediment, and now her lymph is moving away. Don't you love that, though? If I do. If your urine is, they tell you if you see stuff, and you know, you're it's turns yellow. Yes. Ah! Yes. Yeah, but these guys <laughs> never knew about the lymph system anyway. They never took classes on lymphs. Yep. Is there any? They did it on nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> nutrition, yeah. Yeah. What, yeah. Nutrition from the American Dietetics yes. Association. <laughs> That's nutrition. I love that. <laughs> that was like, is grains the staple of man? Uh, good positive directions. That's Dano. Good, good Dano. Thanks, man, for the comment here. Enigma here. <laughs> I love Enigma. You know, I don't know if you would, but yeah, that's a little out there music for you. Oh, I do know who you're talking about. Uh, I love that, man. You crack me up. Thanks for another fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Three Enigma. I love that. This girl just told me she could never do the raw food diet because, in quote, I get kidney stones from oxalate, which is a plant metabolite that is very high. In, oh, they have this whole thing because they see a constituent in a plant. Oh, you can't have it. They, oh, they just don't understand the medium of acidosis, the coagulation issues of acidosis, the anionic issues of acidosis. They don't understand that chemistry in a plant and how it's utilized and, and how it is effective has nothing to, you know, it's, it's just like, it's just kind of tired. If it has oxalate, like if you have kidney stones, you're going to do spinach, you don't do chocolate. Well, chocolate, you know, oxalates are kind of on the cook scene. But <laughs> spinach and all the natural oxalates, hello. But how does the natural oxalate bind with calcium? Acid medium, perhaps? Yes. Hello. You know, uh, uh, 
is a plant metabolite that is very high in many whole grains and veggies. I, uh, I can eat some, but I have to really limit my fruit and veggie intake. No soy or tofu ever. Looks like I'll never be a vegetarian. Looks like someone locked her in the little world of hell and took the key and walked away in with a little smile on their face. I'm very confused. Does anyone know what the, why that would happen and what I could tell her? Smitten. Yeah, honey, listen. Tell her that what she hears about oxalates isn't true. Oxalates, I mean, everything, a ton of food have oxalates. Your chemistry in your food is all there put by the Supreme Being. When you utilize properly, when you absorb, utilize, everything is good. When your lymph is moving, but in these acid mediums, things ionize, especially when the kidneys and you're leaching calcium out of the wall, uh, all these type of problems exist there. Uh, so, don't be confused, take off. Uh, that would mean that all the primates, all the herbivores would have kidney stones. Mm -hmm. See, you've got to keep using nature as your barometer. If you keep using somebody's opinion as your barometer or the medical thinking, they don't consider the supreme being. Of course, most medical doctors probably don't. I better not say that, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. It's like, excuse me? I mean, they don't really believe in the light and the out-of-body experiences. And that's what they had, a cardiolo cardiologist and a quantum physicist, I was telling about this, on a Christian show talking about the light, the light of God, and people that have had experiences with the light. Don't have any experiences with the light, go to the darkness. <laughs> oh, you are this, oh, isn't that nice? He's got a lot of nice people yes. here, right? Monkey. What a finish. Thank you so much for all this. Thank you so much. Your organic art. Organic art. That's a nice name. Nice Thank you so much for that. And what's this one? Thank you for the response. I truly appreciate it. I'm trying to answer the questions as much as I can. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be a day I can't get to. Look how thick this oh, is. Yeah. But we'll, <laughs> we'll shoot a couple of hours here. I'll try to come in on the weekend. Mr. Ant. Can we say it's Mr. Ant? Sure. Sure. Uh, <laughs> A uh, very big one. Yeah. I truly appreciate. Thank you. We appreciate you. Let me tell you, we really. Well, I can't tell you enough how much we love you here and appreciate you all for the upliftment of mankind. This is uh, vital that we stand together. Look at look at all these people now. Uh, you know, they loosely call them the Wall Street people, but all the all the Americans now standing up against governmental abuse and and and. Uh, uh, um, corporate abuse and stuff like that. And it's about time. Americans have always generally set back, set back, set back. And now the more the cops get rough on them, the more they're going to come out. The cops don't get this. You can't be rough with us anymore. You can't, uh, can't go kicking people in the teeth anymore and get away with it. I've been taking the tip that Danielle has given me about getting more celery in my diet for sodium. And sure enough, I notice a better feeling when I eat bananas. Good deal. I've been also drinking. And what's nice is they're, they're working together. There's websites they've created, which is amazing. Some uh, from from Israel, she she they put up a Facebook, and they're 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 going over the videos. They're gonna they're gonna categorize them. I think that's great. I, I've been also drinking beet juice, good deal, which seems to make me feel better. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, Mr. A. We love you too, man. On day four of the detox uh, kit, weeks one and two, during one dropper full three times a day, like the program says to do, but I'm already halfway through the, I know, you know, sometimes when you use those bottles up, I don't know what to say about that, you know, we were going to put them in four ounce bottles, this has all been a money thing, we, we haven't been a couple, we, I told them the other day, we started in the kitchen pumping, yeah. and making our herbs. We only had like four formulas. I think I had a lymphatic form. I've always had a lymphatic formula. Uh, I've had uh, the kidneys, I, I've, uh, a parasite. I mean, I started out with just a few formulas. Mm -hmm. And I would call them Dr. Morris's, and I would have number one, number two, number three, because the FDA, FDA wouldn't let you put on the bottle what they were good for, or what the traditional yeah. use of herbs were for. Excuse me. Uh, you know, so you had to have your literature of what that form is good for so many feet away from the bottle. I mean, wow. the barbaricness of, of this, of America. We think we're out there, but we are really not. Uh, definitely ran out before I was up two weeks. I am possibly doing something. No, you're not doing anything wrong. Just so me, dude. 
Yeah. <laughs> I like just, that. Just some dude. Oh, just just some dude. Seven, seven, seven. Yep, just some dude. Oh yeah, just some dude. Yeah. But you could do just so me. Dude. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you could. <laughs> Spice what do you it think, up. Kid? But, Mr. Sunshine, our fellow DM YouTubers. <laughs> this is uh, a vegan uh, raw mom. This this lady's. Uh, look, you got a new thing here. See a beautiful flower there. Since I've been eating a raw food diet, I'm extremely fertile. Oh, uh, oh uh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Extremely fertile. Oh yeah. That's what you have to be careful with. And also, you ladies taking the female reproductive on birth control. Uh, we've had a few women get pregnant with Oopsies. our female reproductive formula while they're on birth control. So definitely the herbs are more powerful than the birth control. And yes, you get extremely fertile. Of course, since I'm 40, my OBGYN wants me to get a tubal or some piece of rice type item in my tubes to prevent future pregnancies. Additionally, a procedure that will eliminate my periods forever. Huh. Is there an herb that is good for... You know what? I've tried to work on that. I am. And some of you have sent me some herbs, uh, some ideas about herbs in the past, but I really have to get focused. Mm -hmm. I've been so busy. I haven't focused on that. But we do need a good formula for uh, contraception. We mm -hmm. need a good herbal formula that won't hurt the women, that'll, that'll, yes. that'll, that'll be part of their health factors, and that'll keep them from them. We've got to find that right formula. I just got to spend some time doing it, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Other than natural family planning, which is effective, since I have already made the mistake of having my gallbladder and tonsils out. Ooh. Well, you got to move your lymph, sweetheart. You really get your lymph moving. Definitely, you know, get your bowels cleaned up, your kidneys, so you drain your head, because without the tonsils, you know, your lymphs can get real bad upstairs. I want to keep the rest of my body parts as God intended. Good woman. My life has changed so much since our family started eating well. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. I just love this. I'm happy that it was kidnapped, uh, willing by the raw foodist. Good. Go, Lisa. Good, good, good. This is just something. I, pick, I was talking about Elvis and the Beatles and how they changed the consciousness uh, mm -hmm. of the uh, of things. Uh, I'm sure of it. Observer X? I don't Observer know. X. Uh, this is Tales from, I keep on to say Crip. Yeah, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> I watch the TV, I got to say Tales from the, this is Tales from the Midwest. I had my first uh, ceremony today. It was awesome. Not bad for living in Michigan. Uh, like, look weird, so that was pretty cool. Pure herbs. She uses, uh, she's getting her form of some, some pure herbs. I like pure herbs. Good company. Not like ours, but <laughs> certainly pure herbs are good the company. Best. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but uh, Anton, I, I I do like pure herbs. Uh, Blue Phoenix Rising. What are your thoughts on emotions like anger and rage? What do you think? Your lymphatic system. <laughs> yeah. What do you think else? What do you think? Anger, liver. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So you want to detox the liver. You know. Yeah, and he had it right. I yeah. It has, it yeah. Exactly. Liver. Well, I've been talking about it. Yeah. But I tell you this, and they get hot flashes. No, so that must be a female. I get hot flashes. No, but it's possible. All right. So, what do you think? You know, we only get mad when we're attached to something, or we have we feel like we have a part of the outcome. I, I still lose it sometimes over the medical profession. I'll never forget your story as long as I live. Uh, I just, uh, it's just. It's just a, an incredible story of disbelief. Uh, but I, I, you're showing me a, a lot of kids up in that area where they, they, they're just under, I mean, it's just a sad situation. 